I'm Jeremy Rapanich, and I'm gonna buy some wine, chop up some fruit, and dump a bunch of brandy in it. I'm Patrick Cappiello, and I'm gonna do my best to be okay with this. We're here at Venturi Fine Wines in New York City. I want to talk sangria. I've, I've drank sangria, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed to admit it. But I think the one thing you want to do is, I, I wouldn't overspend if you're gonna buy a wine that you're just gonna like turn into a cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't go super cheap because you don't want it to give you a headache. So there's a balance and I think it depends on your budget, but also it depends on how potentially bad you want to feel in the morning. You like to go to Spain, right? Because, I think it makes yeah. sense, like to drink, to have Spanish wine if you're gonna if you're gonna make sangria. So I try to find an affordable version of something that I that I love, like a classic region like Rioja. I, I don't like to drink wine that costs less than fifteen bucks, just because I feel like when you dip down that low, it's a question if it's actually even made from grapes anymore. With sangria, I think you know using fresh fruit is a really important thing, and then. The sweetener is kind of always the question. There's a, there's a lot of schools of thought on that, like Sprite or 7-Up. I think that's the way to go, because then you get a little, a little bit of the bubbles in there. The effervescence, yeah. yes. You know, I think the classic mixologist geeks kind of, kind of like to do triple sec. Mm -hmm. But besides that, you want to have a nice, strong brandy, and that's that's key. And how does, like, you, you say Rioja right here in this particular one, how does the flavor profile work really well with, you know, the fruit and well, everything I, else you're going to put in there? You're going to find pretty dry wines in Rioja. Tempranillo, you know, makes a pretty a pretty dry wine. It's medium body. It's not too tannic. It's not too acidic either. And you don't want anything that's too high in alcohol because you already are adding that that, that brandy in there. So And a bottle like this sets you back, like, 15 bucks. Yeah, it's like 15 bucks. It's, it's, it's going to be a great tasting. Right. Like, Sangria, it's like building a cocktail. You're gonna build a nice balanced cocktail by like having the dry one with the sweet fruit. Right. It's a crowd pleaser. There's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, even <laughs> sangria. We're gonna let this one sit here to stay warm. Yep. If anything's dripping off of it, we'll let it drip onto these veggies. Yeah, please do. If you're gonna eat vegetables, I prefer that it's coated in some sort of bone marrow. Mm. <laughs> Meat marrow. <laughs> so we're gonna add some uh, some squash. Is that any particular type of squash? Um, we had a green zephyr. And